Hello everybody, my name is Spicy Mike. Welcome to Kung Fury Street Rage. Oh man, I love it. If you want to know more about this game, well, you know, I can't tell you all that much about it. It's side-scroller beat-em-up, you know, good old-fashioned, like, killing fun and stuff. If you want to know more about it, if you're really, really content with, like, knowing more about it besides what we have right in front of us right now, then I suggest you pick up the game, it's only $3 on Steam, or watch the movie, because there's a movie on Netflix under the same name, Kung Fury. Oh man, is this game so much fun. Are you guys ready for adrenaline-based action? Because I am so ready for it. <clears throat> Oop, get the mouse out of there. Hacker man, this doesn't look like the beach. Where the hell uh. would you hack us? According to my algorithm calculations, it seems like we might just have ended up in the... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Kung Fiora! Oh dear. Last time I was inside someone, it felt much more like. Oh, mm. This could mean trouble. Yeah, his pegs are epic. No Kung Fury. We got company. Damn it. Not my kind of company. I'll take care of this. So this makes fun of, so in case you haven't realized, this makes fun of like every, every 80s cliche known to man. Every one of them. Even the bad acting, the, the phony acting, the over the top beat em up games, the arcade style. This makes fun of everything. And I absolutely love it. Oh yeah! And so, in case you're wondering the plot, I guess I should explain it instead of just having you, you know, buy the game or go see the movie. I've seen the movie, by the way. It's only 30 minutes, you know? The best movie ever. Uh, so you know, the concept of the game, the concept of the, uh, of Kung Fury is that you are the ultimate martial artist, who is also white because that's just how it works. Whoops! Uh, the ultimate martial artists that you are are facing up against a cyborg machine that is also an arcade machine because why not but also uh, the main goal is to take out at least in the movie is to take out uh, the Kung Fuhrer it's literally Hitler, but he has claimed himself to be the ultimate master of martial arts, but he needs to kill you first in order to get that rank. But of course you don't care about that, you're only here for the adrenaline rush of fighting all of the martial artists and such, and ooh man is it awesome, mm, I can't even concentrate on talking, it's so good, huh? Whoops, 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 ooh, ah, ah. Hmm. I died. In case you didn't notice. Don't worry. I am actually good at this game. When I'm not talking. So unfortunately, with talking and commentary and such, you're going to get the, uh, okay mic version. The one that's concentrating, but not really. And... But man, do I love it. This and One Finger Dead's Punch are like two of my favorite games. Not high on the list and all, but they are fun for moderate distractions occasionally. Moderate distractions is a good word, you know. They are very fun for moderate distractions and such. Because they are so much fun and it's just high octane killing. 
the entire time. There's nothing else. It is just... It, this is all it is. This is the story mode. There's a giant mutant arcade machine that has come back to life and is trying to kill you in the name of the Kung Fuhrer. And your job is to kill everybody else. The end. Do you need a story? Do, do, you, do you really? I don't think you do. I don't think you really need a story. You really don't. You really don't. Alright, gotta take out these ninja women. It's so cool! It's so cool. Mm, I love it. I love it. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it. Dang it. It's okay. It's okay. Didn't take a hit yet. I'm just that awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I needed this. I needed this in my life. Mm -hmm. You go down, Kung Fury. We'll see about that, coin sucker. Mm. Oh right, there's actual something or other. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, there are bat boss battles. I have one heart to take this guy out. Oh yeah. I missed. I mean, I didn't miss. I did that on purpose. I did that on purpose. Give him a fair shot. Fury. I am the one percent. I don't. I don't understand. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Why can't I ever play more games like this? Oh, that's sick dodge, though. That's sick dodge. All these sick dodges. Look at that. Boom. Am I doing it on purpose or what? Oh, yeah. Hoorah. Look, the arcade machine dropped a computer chip. Must be a part of its mother modem. I didn't understand. I love the voice that. acting. The mother modem is like the heart of the hard drive. If we can get all the chips, I can hack it, kill the mother modem, and destroy the arcade machine. This quest calls upon me. Another hero to rise against the villains of this world. <laughs> it's. It's very satisfying that the one cop, that the one person that has actual decent voice acting in this, is the Triceracop. Hero, villain, I'm the Viking with the Gatling gun. Did someone say guns? Oh yeah, and they're assisted by shirtless Thor the entire game. <clears throat> Anyways, let's move on to what you really guys really want. Don't worry. I know what you want. So we're back. I know that you guys, what you really wanted was an all out free for all. Where all I do is just kill endlessly because that's just how I roll. So I chose Barbarina here. She is literally a barbarian with a Gatling John.
It's like, are you not impressed? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? I'm very entertained, though. Oh, so very entertained. Well, I died though. <laughs> Only at the bottom, man. I can do better. One last try. For all the marbles. And it's interesting, too, how this game, which uh, features a barbarian with a Gatling gun, the world's ultimate kung fu martial artist, a triceracop, and a man in a suit that can hack everything. It's interesting how this game actually does a good job of uh, giving each character their own individual playstyle. That one didn't count. So like Barbarina here, you have to uh... It's like, so Barbarina, you have to use your Gatling gun, but with like, say, uh... Triceracop here, he can constantly shoot, but you have, but he's constantly diving backwards a bit when he does it. So some of the combos will end up having him slide all over the place as he dodges left and right with some people. And also it's just really oddly satisfying to see him, one, just firing at everybody, and two, hearing the sound effect of the gun as he's firing at people. It's so satisfying. But I do believe he has any range. Okay, not every range. Not every range, but... Not... He doesn't have a superior range, but he has a... Mm, mm. Is that not satisfying? Is that mo not the most satisfying thing you've seen all day? <sighs> That's the most satisfying thing for me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There is no way this game is any harder than my attention right now. But then you choose Hacker Man over here. You've already seen Kung Fury, so I'm gonna skip over him, but you choose Hacker Man and it's just like... And what you're doing basically is like... I don't even know how to explain this. You're scanning everyone and suddenly you're able to shoot and vaporize them and if you time it properly then you can just work off weirdest com the weirdest combos. It's just the strangest combat system, but I'm okay with this. It's just so satisfying, I swear. You you don't even know until you actually played it. If any of you have played like One Finger Death Punch and all, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that kind of satisfying. It's the slow motion plus the uh, effect of just having everything blow up in front of your face. 
Oh man, that's satisfying. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here, and now if I play any more, then you're gonna see some very unsightly things. I'm just giving you that warning right now. You don't need to know what it is, but it will be unsightly. And so, with that said, I will leave this video here, as I said. Man, man, I am distracted by the awesomeness of this game, I tell you. Whew. Oh, calm down, Mike, calm down. Oh, God. Hot and bothered. I am hot and bothered, man. Ooh, ooh. Somebody's perky. I told you you witnessed something unsightly. Okay. Thank you guys for enjoying this video, for uh, stopping by, enjoying this video and all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.